guys so it is monday october 31st it is halloween and i decided to just kind of just vlog for the next few days i have not done a vlog in a really long time and i just really wanted to kind of get back into that so yeah today i got up i went to class and then i came home and i set up my mirror which the mirror is also like a jewelry holder i'm still like unpacking some other boxes that i got from my parents but this is kind of all cleared out i still have like a bunch of books i need to go through but i plan to do like a whole entire video for that but yeah i organized that i kind of reorganized my shelves i still need to do a little bit more organization just to like finalize everything but i think i have like my desk kind of set up that you guys saw i just went through all my makeup i needed to reorganize that because i really haven't been keeping my makeup on my desk but i thought it would be a good idea to maybe put it on here i don't know just felt like i just felt like doing it but yeah um tonight the halloween plans are going to be going to the bcm which is our baptist collegiate ministry at my school and we're going to be having like a little costume contest pumpkin carving a halloween movie and we're going to be eating some pancakes i just think it'll be really fun so i'm waiting for my laundry to finish and then i'm gonna start getting ready for that i think i'm gonna curl my hair though so i may do that in a couple minutes because it's gonna take me a while but yeah i think i'm gonna curl my hair so i'm actually about to probably get started on that i i'm super excited to show you guys like my little costume um basically just got it from my closet this halloween was surprisingly easy for me to think of a costume because usually i'm just like uh, i don't know and like i'm not usually anything for halloween because i don't really do much but this halloween i was very excited because i'm just gonna have fun you know um but yeah i have like my makeup set up right here now which i kind of like because then I don't have to keep on walking back and forth from like there to here. So it's there. I have my Bible and journals right here. Some books I'm currently reading. I still need to organize this just because it looks like a big chaotic mess, which it is. But I have my mirror set up which is really nice. And then all boxes are cleared out from here. I still have these books to put up and then my bed is kind of a wreck, but what can you do? I really like having my mirror. I'm excited to have a mirror again because it's been a while since I've had one. <laughs> very sparkly just a black undershirt because it's supposed to be cold tonight and i didn't want to like just be in the dress i have on my cowgirl hat and then i have on these boots i'll show you like the full fit in the mirror in a minute yeah can you can you guess what i am basically i'm going as like a country star kind of more so taylor swift than anything just with brown hair instead of blonde i think it's the red lip that really makes it like taylor swift kind of the plan was to be like a country star and i feel like the boots and the hat really help with that i think i need to put on like a necklace and i'll be fine but like this is this is it i'm very proud of it i'm not even gonna lie but i basically already had all this stuff except for the dress i had just buy the dress but it was like 12 bucks so how could i not but yeah um loving it Look at what just came out. Look at this. The tour just got announced. I'm, I'm going to this one and I already have like the pre-sale ticket stuff pulled up. 
Oh my gosh. I'm literally so excited. You guys have no freaking idea. I've been waiting for her to announce that she's gonna go on tour because she was gonna go on tour. You know, after this past year, she was gonna go on tour. So I've just been waiting for it. And then this morning I opened up Instagram and it was there. Like it was the first thing on my feed. I'm so freaking excited. You have no idea. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So freaking excited. I have a bit of a book haul. I didn't want to make a whole separate video. I mean, these books could definitely make their own video if they wanted to, but I wanted to put it into a vlog because I know I don't really vlog much. <laughs> So I thought I would just throw in like a book haul in here. I've kind of been collecting these books since September. So from September, October, I have gotten this many books, even though I told myself I would only get like three books per month. Kind of went a little crazy in September before I really gave myself that rule. But this is a book haul for you guys. The first one is It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. If you see my October TBR, you know I've already read this book, so I'm not really gonna stay on here too long, but I, I freaking love this book, guys. It was so good. The second book is The Play by L. Kennedy. This is the third book from the Briar U series. You read the off-campus series, which is five books, and then you go into the Briar U series. The first two are really freaking good. Like, my fa they're my favorites out of the entire universe for that series. So, I'm honestly really excited for this one because I found the off-campus was, like, good. Don't get me wrong. I really, really love those books. But I thought the writing got better for the Briar U series by L. Kennedy. I'm so excited for this one. It's about Hunter and Demi, and they are friends to lovers. It is kind of a forbidden-ish romance. Not really, like, forbidden, but, like, like they just want to be friends. You know, they kind of, like, don't want to start anything but like something happened i don't really know but yeah i'm really excited for this one it's kind of she's kind of heavy this one's almost 400 pages and all of them are like 350 and then the third one that i got is the american heiress i really don't know what this one is about i got it from a thrift store actually she is american and she goes to england to try to find like a title in the english society and that's pretty much all that i know i think she goes from being like super spoiled to like really appreciating the people around her it's kind of like one of those books which i'm really excited for because that means that there's character development and character development is my favorite thing in books it's set in 1893 so i'm excited and then we get into kind of a part of all these series that i bought recently so the first series i'm going to talk about is the brutal birthright series by sophie lark i have been buying the new covers as they come out so i have brutal prince stolen air savage lover and bloody heart so these books follow two families they follow the griffins and the gallows and in the first book you get the marriage of callum griffin and ada gallo they are enemies to lovers it is arranged marriage it's really really good i actually didn't expect to love it as much as i did i know i definitely want to reread these books soon but i'm waiting for the last two to come out so we'll see and then we also have stolen air this one is kind of a beauty and the beast retelling it's not my favorite but i did enjoy the story and i very much enjoyed the character development that happened in this book it was so good and then savage lover this is kind of like a friends to lovers romance you have nero gallo and camila rivera she is not a part of any kind of mafia kind of thing but he he is i don't really remember how they started like being together but i just remember really enjoying this book and being like okay if this one isn't good like if i don't love this one then i'm not going to continue the series but i'm glad that i did because then i got to one of my favorite books of this series which is bloody heart this is a second chance romance it's so freaking good it is about simone and dante so good so i'm really excited for broken vow to come out though because that one is my favorite i constantly think about that book like I really do. And then the next book that I have is the first book of the Kings of Sin series by Anna Huang. It is her new series and this is book one which is Kings of Wrath. I'm not, I think this is also an arranged marriage. I haven't really seen anything about this book on Instagram yet but I also really haven't been on Instagram recently. So maybe there is stuff and I'm just like not seeing it but i do love anna huang i love her entire twisted series and i'm super excited to start reading her new series i really hope that i enjoy it i heard it's supposed to be like a lot darker than the twisted series was and i didn't think the twisted series was like super dark or anything but i don't really want to be reading like a whole bunch of dark romances anymore so we'll we'll see we'll see and then one of the next ones is a core of silver flames this is the special edition cover from barnes and nobles it's so floppy like do you guys see this 
it's just amazing i really like this cover a lot more than the orange one orange is one of my favorite colors but like i don't know just this cover is just different you know what i mean like like i love this and then my last three books are a series but i bought them all together so it's okay and that is the magnolia parks trilogy i think there are only three books in this series i've heard people say that there's gonna be more but only three books are out the first one is obviously magnolia parks i think the cover of this is so cool it kind of reminds me of like hogwarts almost just because of like the symbol right here you have like slytherin ravenclaw hufflepuff and gryffindor like those are like the colors that it kind of represents i know that it's set in london i know that has like the cheating trope in there which i don't love whenever characters cheat on each other but like it's a fictional book and i just really am trying to read the series to like be entertained not that i think that it's right but i just like want to be entertained you know it's like watching gossip girl like i wouldn't actually want to be a part of that life and that's not something that like i want but it's entertaining to like watch so yeah we have magnolia park and then you have daisy hates which i believe this is like her friend and you get to see like her friends that love story and you get to see the friend's perspective for everything going on in this book i believe i don't love the cover of this one i think it is super interesting like just the artwork but i don't really like love this cover i just think it's odd the converse on the cover really throw me off and then the last book of this series is magnolia parks the long way home this is my favorite one i'm not even gonna lie like it is my favorite cover out of all of them it's just so pretty I, don't, I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, I've heard this book series is really, really good and I'm super excited to get to it. Those are all the books that I've gotten recently and I just wanted to share them with you guys. But now I'm just waiting for my mom to text me whenever she's coming into town. If you don't know, I live with my grandparents. I've lived here since the beginning of May and my parents have recently moved down in the past like couple of weeks yeah i'm trying to just spend time with them i'm just waiting for my mom to text me whenever she's on her way over and we are gonna go get lunch together before we both go to work so yeah i'm really excited for that i'm just gonna finish getting ready and i'm gonna go to lunch with my mom been a few days since the last time we talked i think the last time i picked up the camera was like tuesday or monday no it was tuesday like in the morning i really haven't done much it is now friday it's literally like 8 30 at night and i really haven't done anything this week i went to class and i hung out with my family and that was pretty much it did go get my nails done today got this pretty brown color for thanksgiving i figured i would just catch up with you guys a little bit before i end off the video so i have a little bit of a book update i don't know if i said it but at the beginning of this week i was reading cold tea by mariana zapata i have finished that book i gave it a four out of five it wasn't like my favorite my favorite mariana zapata book that i've read so far is hands down yeah i read cold tea i really did enjoy it the wall of winnipeg and me and cold tea to me were kind of like the same vibe but i did like both of them it wasn't like bad but it wasn't great and then i have picked up up the play by l kennedy this is one of the books i hauled earlier in this video i'm not that far into it i'm on chapter five so that's like 36 pages but i want to show you guys like what i've been looking at because i'm thinking about buying like nail stuff to do like my friend's nails or like my own nails at home this is like stuff that i found on like people's instagrams that they all use so I want to get one of these. I just don't know which one to get. I really want to just get these two. All three of these together with like tax is like $87. And I want to get Taylor Swift tickets. I have so much stuff to pay for in December and Thanksgiving. I think it's just going to go on the Christmas list. Not saying I'm going to get it for Christmas. But like if I still want to do it after December. Then I'm going to get the stuff. I think, I think that's a good call. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll link it down below in the description box if you guys are interested in like this kind of stuff. I don't know. I want to find some other hobbies or some like other things that I can like get good at. And kind of like, I don't know, make it like a little hobby or like a little side thing that I do. Like nails would be like a really fun one. So yeah, I kind of want to dive into that a little bit maybe. I just want to share that with you guys. 
because I thought it was really neat. I just didn't really pick up the camera that much this week and I'm sorry about that. I just have been going through like a lot mentally and a lot being like kind of doubting myself which is something that I really need to stop and something that I really don't want to be doing because I want to be confident in who I am and I want to just kind of like be more joyful and more happy and everything. I just wanted to share that you guys are all beautiful i love every single one of you please know that that i'm just so happy that you're here and i will see you guys all in my next video i love you and goodbye